What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com where the forums are starting to heat up. So many new subscribers. I keep mentioning it. Come on. It's free, guys. Come subscribe to the website. Show some love. Basically, the forums there, you can say whatever you want. Um, no censorship. You don't have your Facebook friends watching you. It's uh, a lot of good stuff going on there. Kudos to the ISRO. A lot of people have been asking me to cover the uh, the India's mission, to, and we have been, the MOM, the Mars Orbiter mission, which has been sending back some great images. Now, I haven't gotten as many images from them as I liked, but uh, what we got so far has been pretty amazing. And today we got one back from the uh, – this is, this is the same area, I do believe, that uh, um, Kander's in. Like, this is the Arsimans – uh, region taken by the Mars color camera on 4 1 2015 and what amazing about this it shows the clouds basically says the water vapor the large volcanic mountains located in the Tharsis region of Mars water vapor clouds around it can seen on the left of the volcanic mountain a lot of people who come to my channel um, and they comment and they have no idea that Mars has clouds now I've been talking about the clouds on Mars for a while. So if you're a, a member of the channel, What's Up in the Sky 37, you know that there's clouds on Mars. Our rovers have filmed them. We've filmed them uh, all sorts of different ways with our spacecraft. Um, the Mavens, I think, already sent back some. But it's amazing that so many people have this... Uh, it's basically dead red planet. You know, that's what we've been told. That's And that's what you think. You don't think that it's got an atmosphere. You don't think that it's got clouds. Um, Mars isn't, you know, that far from Earth or far from habitable planet. And habitable planet could be, you know, who knows what habitable for other creatures. Uh, what we tend to think in human terms a lot. But um, this is an amazing picture here that they brought down. They've also, kudos to India for the showing the actual color of Mars. Here it is. This is Phobos right there, the little potato-shaped moon. It's got, it goes around, flies around this thing. I tell you, it just flies around Mars quick, too. I can't, don't remember the exact, I'm sure one of the uh, subscribers will put down there the exact number of times it flies around per, uh, per Sol, but this is what we got. Um, this, when we first, when India's, uh, the MOM probe got there, uh, it didn't, sent back to what we it really disappointed me. It sent back what we thought was the same old, same old, same old. Here's their website right here. The link is this. It was this color. Um, but I'll show you exactly what they sent back. These are the pictures that have been released publicly. Here's the one with Phobos. This is what they sent back. And right away, so many people had uh, emailed me and said, no way, that's not it. And they sent me this picture. And what's neat is they sent me this picture just changed a little bit. And it turned out looking exactly like the other one, the first one we were just looking at. Um, right here. Hold on, I don't want to overblow that one. And it looked exactly like it. So kudos to them. Um, and here's another one of my videos I did right here that show clouds on Mars. This was one of the, I think this was Opportunity or Spirit Rover. It all depends where you are on Mars. But Mars has weather. Um, it's got dust devils. It's got all sorts of neat stuff that uh, is going on up there. So it's not a dead, cold planet. Um, we Hopefully we've changed the uh, changed your mind on that. I, I, I think the the you know, I think we're just learning now what exactly is going on there. So, now as always, I want to talk a little bit about what's in the picture here because there look to be some anomalies in here as well. And as always, we're going to have to look at what is the actual scale of this one. And India has given a scale, uh, which is great. This, These two pieces right here um, really drew my attention. This here um, as well. And these squiggly lines that kind of emanate from this area right here. And see, they kind of run up around here. To me, they almost look like some sort of Nazca lines or something. So if you look into this, um, this would be about 20 kilometers, which I do believe is about um, maybe 10 miles, something along the lines. So we're talking uh, five miles right about here. So these would be fairly big. So if, if this is something that's a uh, structure along those lines, it would be fairly big. Now, you can also see under the, the clouds or whatever here, um, some, 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 not necessarily symmetry, but shapes. 
So let's see what we can do here. I've got two copies here. Um, this is exactly how it came from them. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the gamma up a little bit, see if we can't pull this out right here, because I'm really interested in what this stuff right here might be. And you know what we're going to do here? We, we always speculate. So um, I see what I see, you see what you see, and we go from there. And that's what I'm, I'm loving the, uh, like I said, I'm really impressed with the amount of people signing up for the website and starting to talk on the forums. Um, we got some really good people over there that are answering. They're putting up their photos. If you make these photos or say you take the photos I do and upload them, you put them on Facebook or wherever, come put them on the forums too. Um, at least here you're going to get people who absolutely love this stuff. You know we're going to be looking at them. So Now, when I first saw this piece right here, I struggled with it because I thought this might be a cloud, like maybe a vapor trail or something. And I realized it's not. You could tell when you when I got close that it's just another ridge and it's it's up in the air. Uh, but on it, there's a little red looking perfect circle um, sphere right there in the middle of it. And it's kind of got a, uh, here it is. See that right there? This is how it was sent right from India. Um, and these two pieces right here, I don't know why, to me they just seem built. This actually looks maybe like a, a, a it's either rounded or you can see how it's kind of got the shape of a three-sided pyramid. If you were looking at the sun's coming in that way, that just could be the way the sun's hitting it. That's all speculation on my part. Um, this is a very interesting area to say the least. Here on the edge, you've got some interesting pieces through here. Um, and then once again up here where you see the clouds, which are on Mars. So now you know there's weather on Mars. And if you were the people that didn't know there was weather on Mars, you now know that there is weather on Mars, which means water vapor means atmosphere, which means water. It needs to be able to come from somewhere. Um, and if you check through my videos, and if you go, if you want to see what water on Mars looks like, you can easily see it. So one more time, let me flip over to this side right here. Now, when you start adding the depth and stuff, now let me just do this with uh, some contrast. You start wondering, is this, are these shapes in here, you know, parts of cities or, you know, or is that just, uh, you know, the resolution from the camera? But do you see how it's kind of got here? comes up it goes out this way it just seems like it could be road could be anything now we're talking like I said just this little piece from here to here would be maybe five miles so or maybe even yeah, probably about five miles I think that's what that size was but either way I'm gonna leave you guys with that hopefully you guys check out some of the imagery and if you look at this uh you know this just in here how lighter it is it's just amazing that India did this it was like first shot they shot the spacecraft that it hit it. It's amazing what India is doing, and they're doing it dirt cheap. They're putting satellites in orbit. Uh, they're taking the space race, and they're really taking it to a new level, which uh, hopefully is going to elevate the whole world. Um, so, all right, guys, much love to you. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I put out a, a happy holidays uh, one before this, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, as always, come sign up on the website, whatsupinthesky.com. Uh, here's my website. Like I said, here's where... If you want to see other clouds right here, basically if you go to my um, go to my channel, and then if you come up here, help, look at me smiling there for you. Uh, I can't believe we're up to 16,430 uh, subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's, it just still boggles my mind. Come here to the search and search for clouds or water. Water, really, I want to show you, because that's part of how these clouds come. So, And you'll get a chance to see some of the... Uh, some of the water on Mars and how they lie about water, some real running water, some lakes, all sorts of good stuff. So, all right, guys, much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. Like I said before, come join us over at the website. Much love to you. Peace. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video and have your annotations turned on, just click on the video below you wish to watch or check out the whatsupinthesky.com website by clicking on it below.